this is Raina. Thank you for joining me on my crochet channel. In uh, this video, we will crochet the snowflake table runner in fillet crochet technique. Uh, you can follow my video tutorials uh, uh, of a few other fillet crochet table runners as well. You'll find the link in video description box. And uh, fillet means net or mesh in French. And then just using uh, chains and double crochet stitches and following the image chart it's uh, easy to do and we'll make this table runner in two steps first we'll crochet the snowflakes uh, with fillet crochet technique and then we'll add two rounds of edge with contrast color and my table runner measures about 21 and a half inches long and about nine and a half inches wide. I am using Aunt Lydia's crochet thread size 10. Uh, this is my favorite uh, thread to use for these uh, fillet crochet table runners. So it is 100% cotton. My main color is white and I'm going to make the edge with this uh, light blue. This one is called Delft. One ball has 350 yards in it. It is more than enough for one uh, table runner. And my crochet hook is size 1.75 millimeters. And let's get started. And this is my snowflake chart. It has 65 rows and 25 blocks. And this is a symmetrical pattern and uh, it means it's easy to read the chart. You can read it from left to right or right to left, doesn't matter. It's always the same. And um, so fillet crochet consists of two types of blocks or squares making up the grid pattern. The white squares are called open blocks and they are made with two chains and one double crochet. And the black squares are called solid blocks and they are made with three double crochet stitches. And a closer look, the chart shows we have to make 25 open blocks on first row. And because each uh, block has three stitches, we need to make the foundation chain three times 25, 75 chains plus five to start the first open block. So we will start with 80 chains. And making a slip knot first. Now chain 80. And the first row of uh, 25 open blocks. It starts with a double crochet now in the eight chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This one. This is the beginning open block. So two chains down here are the base of this open block. Then next three are the side and Last two are the top of the open block. And to continue with open blocks, chain two, yarn over to be ready to make double crochet, then skip two chains, one, two, and double crochet in the next. And this repeats, chain two, skip two, 
double crochet in the next chain two skip two one two double crochet in the next and on the chart the second row here also all open blocks and to show you the end and beginning so two chains for the last block double crochet last chain and to start the second row and each next row chain five three four five then turn and double crochet in the next double crochet now we're making a open blocks above the open blocks with two chains and then double crochet in next double crochet And ending second row and each row from now chain two for the last open block and then find the third chain here and double crochet in it and to keep track of the rows I like to mark them so first two rows are made you can make little checks or arrows, whatever you prefer. And starting row three, we can count from right to left or from left to right. So here it shows until this darker line, it's 10 blo open blocks. Then we make one solid, then three open, one solid, and again 10 open. We start again with five chains, then turn, and same way, double crochet in the next double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. And now make ten open blocks. And now we will make the first solid block above the open block. So three double crochets. The two double crochets go in a chain space. And third one goes in the next stitch. Now it's three open blocks. Chain two, double crochet. Chain two. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet, and again, solid block, make two double crochets in a chain space, and one in the next stitch. And now finish the row with ten open blocks, and the fourth row here so this is 11 open blocks one solid one open one solid and 11 open and let's end the third round start fourth together so again for the last open block chain two find the third chain of that beginning five chain and double crochet in it starting fourth row chain five turn and make 11 open blocks and after 11 open blocks now one solid 
two double crochets in chain space one in a stitch then one open two chains double crochet again solid two double crochets in chain space and one in the next stitch now we continue with 11 open blocks two chains so when you do open block above solid you just need to skip these two double crochets and double crochet in the last one and next row five here this is 12 open blocks then one solid 12 open chain five and turn and 12 open Twelve made, and now the solid block here. Two double crochets, chain space, one in a stitch, and continue twelve open blocks again. And row six, we're going to make. A few more solid blocks here it starts with five open then one solid again five open one solid one open one solid five open one solid five open row seven starts with six open blocks then one solid two open one solid two open one solid two open one solid two open one solid ends with six open
next row eight starts with seven open blocks one solid one open and now two solid three open two solid one open one solid and with seven open blocks and i just want to show you i made my seven open blocks uh, one solid one open and now two solid blocks so the first one will go above the solid block on last row that means we just need to double crochet in each stitch so three double crochets for the first block and the second will go above the open block same way two double crochets in chain space one in the next stitch and next is three open blocks here in the middle again two solid blocks next And now continue here next is uh, uh, one open then one solid and again seven open row nine starts with nine open blocks three solid one open three solid nine open I made nine open next is three solid and you can count so this is nine double crochets if you want to count with this first one too then three solid blocks you'll do ten double crochets so here's three four five six Seven, eight, nine, and ten to make sure we don't skip any stitches. And now continue one open. Here's the middle one again, three solid and nine open. Row ten here, six open blocks, then three solid, one open two solid one open two solid one open three solid and six open i made six open now three solid above three open blocks if you'd like you can again count ten double crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the first double crochet of course here belongs to that last open block and then next nine two three solid blocks next is one open block skip two double crochets here in the next and now two solid blocks these are also two here so we just need to double crochet one in each and this is a total seven double crochets for two blocks two five six and seven again that first one belongs to this open block it's the end of this and then next six solid two solid blocks and then open block here in the middle and repeat two solid blocks one open three solid six open and row 11 starts with two open 
box one solid then four open three solid one open one solid one open one solid one open three solid four open one solid two open so i did here my two open one solid four open three solid next one open skipping two double crochets here and now one solid double crochet in each next three here is the middle open chain two double crochet again one solid three more double crochets Two, three, here one open, and again your three solid, four open, one solid, two open. Row 12 starts with three open blocks, one solid, one open, one solid, two open, three solid, one open one solid one open three solid two open one solid one open one solid and three open Next row 13 starts with four open blocks. One solid, one open, one solid. Again, four open, one solid, one open, one solid, four open, one solid, one open, one solid, and with four open. I finished my row 13, and on a chart, you see how now we need to make that second half of the snowflake and it it's a mirror image of the first part so now row 14 repeats row 12 then 15 repeats 11 16 repeats 10 and so forth so let's finish that uh, first snowflake for, uh, until row 20. 
and the first snowflake is done 20 rows completed and here then the next five rows 21 through 25 you will do this part so just uh, follow the chart again 12 open blocks here and only one solid block 12 open blocks and so forth and on row 26 you start the second snowflake so you will complete this you'll do again five rows of that part between and then you do that third snowflakes finished by the those three rows same ones that we started with and finally two rows of open blocks only and i finished uh, all the rows on the chart i already cut off my white thread and next we can continue with uh, two rounds of edge and I'm going to join my blue thread in that same last square where I finished. And inserting hook through that square space, make a single crochet. The first round of edge is going to be just single crochets. Now single crochet one more in this same space. Next single crochet will go in this end space here and next in a space, inserting hook through space. Next one again in that end stitch here and next in space. repeat this until you reach the corner and here is my corner square in here we need to make three single crochets one two and three and then turn and work the short side the same way single crochet one in each of these uh, stitches and one in each space and now continue in the next corner again make three single crochets and then continue with a, a next uh, long side and then uh, another corner and then the second short side and let's finish the last corner together and since i started this round with two single crochets in a first square i will make one more single crochet in here and finish with a slip stitch in that first single crochet and the second round of edge starts here with three chains this is the first double crochet now double crochet one in that same stitch and now we're going to make pico which is uh, three chains and then slip stitch in that first chain this is the pico and now double crochet two more in the same stitch this is the corner piece now chain two and skip one single crochet here this one and single crochet in the next and also single crochet in the next Two single crochets and now chain one 
and we're going to make this piece again first skip one next stitch this one go in the next and make two double crochets then pico three chains and slip stitch in the first chain and two more double crochets in same stitch then chain one skip next stitch this one single crochet in the next single crochet in the next so now this is going to repeat chain one skip next single crochet this one double crochet in the next one more double crochet then pico three chains and slip stitch two more double crochets in the same stitch chain one skip next single crochet single crochet in the next and single crochet in the next and repeat chain one skip next stitch two double crochets pico two double crochets chain one skip one and let's do the next corner together when you get there here i'm at the corner square here are my three single crochets so here with the pattern i just made two single crochets and in the for the corner piece we need to chain two not just one as here chain two as uh, then again skip this first single crochet and make your double crochets in that second the middle one so that part is the same make pico then two more double crochets in same stitch but now again instead of one chains chain chain two one, two skip the next single crochet this one and single crochet in the next also single crochet in the next so th now it's the same chain one skip one and two double crochets so this is how we make the corner and now make the repeat the same for the entire piece and we'll finish it together and i'm back to the beginning corner here are my two last single crochets and now for the corner piece we will make two chains and i'm just going to finish with a slip stitch in that third beginning chain and ready to cut off fasten off and the table runner is finished now next we uh, need to weave in all these ends and then definitely need to block it to give it a nice even and flat shape and um, how i block it is i make it wet and then stretch it out on my blocking mats and attach it with pins so that's where you can shape it uh, the way you like and uh, I also like to use some spray starch to give it extra firm shape then I let it dry completely uh, I will add some photos next to show you how I block my table runner
and my blocked table runner is now in much better shape and uh, looking great and so i hope you have fun making your own uh, snowflake table runner you'll find the uh, written pattern and the chart on my blog the link is in video description box thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting